I guess I just address this if it's even worth addressing, but it's interesting that the similarities on this guy. Um, I don't know why. But this, um, to your left, I'm holding up a, a two inch by two inch, 14 inch long brass bar stock in Japan that's split in the middle. Uh, I think, in, yeah, it was 1997. I did gift it to Prince Hans Adam II Liechtenstein, who wrote me a letter back saying, thank you for this gift. It's uh, very special. I'll put it in my private art collection. I have the letter still. It's probably even on in my library here, but uh, now going over to your right is, I didn't know about this thing, but it's pretty big and it's beautiful, unique quality about it. It's looks similar, doesn't it? A fantastic piece of artwork. Just an interesting coincidence, I suppose, unless somebody, you know, these things have been on television and television have no boundaries, goes across around the world and redressed and you know, somebody might have seen Oh it's crazy Hutchison. That's kind of idea. I think I'll present this to a group of engineers, I suppose, and make a memorial. I don't know. Just guesswork. Hmm, but it's kind of cool. It really gets you thinking, this, uh, the Russian artwork. It's brilliant. It's an amazing piece. Uh, I think they unre... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's got me kind of hypnotized looking at it. So, well done. Anyway, that's just something I wanted to talk about. In a video. Hmm. I wonder, uh, I wonder what the center's made out of. The teardrop. It's kind of fun to find out. And what it's all made out of. Hmm. Well, let's go to something else here. Well, you can get into stuff like this again. This is a nice picture. Uh, one of my samples, I don't, I think I sold it on eBay. I got a bunch of samples on eBay. Check them out. Oh, this is me at KOA. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing there, but... <laughs> it's weird. Oh, uh, this is a letter from George Hathaway, 2005, on his analysis of the metal samples. Interesting stuff, but George found out. Oh, it's just never know what I find in, in libraries, so let's go into our next picture. It's kind of random, but my library is a real mess in the iPad, all these pictures and things. This is Lauren St. Ives, 707 His aunt works for Tesla's secretary, and the papers of the deceased aunt were auctioned off, and somebody actually tracked down some of the family members of Lauren St. Ives who contacted me in 1983 was to visit me to go into detail with the resident in Vancouver, uh, Thomas Lee Richardson, who had a house full of papers and actual furniture from Tesla. That's Thomas Lee Richardson. Okay, Steve Turner below was a friend of Thomas Lee Richardson. And who else is here? Jenny Lee Province newspaper. Rennie Stanley. I forget who she was. I think a filmmaker. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Uh, Mark Dillon, San Diego, Oceanside. I don't know who that is. Okay, let's go. Having fun today with video. Uh, this is another interesting one. It's uh, Major Peter Garrison. Uh, it was 
he knows John Alexander, blah, blah, blah. John on Wednesday, Peter Garth M, Major AF slash XPX, Air Force Division, U.S. Pentagon Building. Okay, well, he wanted a power cell, I think. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, somebody with a dress wanted some info on the spiral spark, spark app. Here's a, this group contained a magnetron, a nuclear supply, and the spiral spark app. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I'll, I'll, I'll go on. Who knows? Oh, see, I never know what I got in this collection of photos and iPads. This is from Thomas Lee Richardson. He wrote this. I have the original sheet music. He gifted it to me. Along with a Tesla medallion or something. Okay, that's interesting. Quick note, uh, this is uh, Facts, the Mrs. Roddenberry. Okay, that's 97, I think. Ian Gast uh, was friends with Mrs. Roddenberry and stayed at her home for a day. Okay, let's... Hello, this is my former um, boss. He is um, with the Artificial Reef Society of British Columbia, Wes Roots. I worked under him. My job was taking apart the 3-inch 50 cannons of 3-inch 70 cannons so I can write myself a certificate as expert on these two artillery pieces on warships. Four warships I worked on and Wes wanted me to work with him traveling around the world as a consultant on these cannons and also the electronics on warships. Okay, well, I just off topic, sorry. Oh, this is, okay, Prince Hans Adam Richardson. Uh, let's see, when was this? What date? Thank you for your letter of October 10, 2013. Well, it's a while ago now. I'm doing well, and I have, hope your family are fine. Also, for your important anti-radiation and your other work and free energy and life extension science I wish you a lot of success I'm pleased to send you in the, in the let's see attachment in English a copy of my book the state in the third millennium which has already been published in 12 languages with all my best regards Prince Hans Adam Liechtenstein of Liechtenstein uh, so last letter, I think, so that would be about 2014, I got this. And start date of many letters over the years in Munich, Germany, 1989. That's a while, it's communications. Um, hopefully I can, I did meet his uh, cousin, brother, Prince Alfred von Lisha signed with Ken Schollers and Henry Dakin, young guys that... And we had a wonderful couple of weeks in San Francisco. That was, uh, I don't know what year that was, 98, 97? I think it was 97 already, or 2000. Anyway, I got the videos, so you gotta get all that stuff uploaded. Okay, let's see. I don't think I have the letter of thanking me for the gift of the metal sample. Oh, well, okay. Oh, this is a long time ago in the galaxy. Young, uh, the U.S. government sponsored me in a demonstration. Here I am holding a broken flying object. This is a tube of acrylics. As you can see, I'm wearing unique Giva, Eva Gabor wigs back then. <laughs> uh, attending was Bob Freeman, Los Alamos. A whole group of scientists in Los Alamos. And, hmm. I think Navy Research Labs, Colonel John Alexander, of course. It's a cool picture. John sent me, John Alexander sent me about a year, this to me a year ago. Okay, on to that. Uh, some folks working with a film producer I know, Robert Drake. We were working on a project together on a TV show with Ron Milloni from BAE Systems and that never happened so darn it Ron and I are quite excited love to do the stuff story but oh well off top off top again a picture of my dad and his orchestra in and his orchestra oh it says it okay 
I wonder if this is me. I don't know, or is it my sister? I got the. I wonder if it's me for Pete's sake. What do you guys think out there in YouTube world? Is this me? <laughs> As you see, there's an animal licking me or something. I wonder, I got it. Chris Hutch is my cousin, so it's fun. That's a mother, much like me, both rather crazy and wild and full of hot sexual energy. I don't know, I look kind of goofy, uh, and this is uh, Dr. Margarita's uh, Peter Kokoschnig's home in Hendorf and Wallersee, in Gaza, myself. I was a guest for a couple of years in Austria and Germany. Wow, okay, I'm going back to the metal sample. Well, I was going back to the metal sample. This is Moon in Raven. It's a famous raven eating something. Okay, gang, your mission, should you decide to accept it, is find pictures of me in this metal sample on the internet, on YouTube. I'm sure there's, it's laying around somewhere in a video. So, I never knew about this exhibit until yesterday. I didn't even know it existed. Anyway, it's an interesting coincidence. Thanks. Take care, good luck, don't take any wooden nickels. All right.